In this video, you will learn about slow heartbeat. The heart is a fist-sized organ that acts as a pump to send oxygen-rich blood throughout the body. The heart has four chambers, two upper chambers called the right atrium and left atrium, and two lower chambers called the right ventricle and the left ventricle. A healthy heart beats 60 to 100 times per minute. Bradycardia refers to a slow heartbeat, a resting heart rate lower than 60 beats per minute. Although a resting heart rate slower than 60 beats per minute is normal for some people, bradycardia can also cause symptoms which indicate that the brain and other organs might not get enough oxygen. As a result, you may feel dizzy or have chronic lack of energy, shortness of breath or even fainting spells. When people refer to a pacemaker, they are actually discussing a pacing system, which includes the pacemaker and leads. A pacemaker is a small implantable device which delivers pulses to treat irregular, interrupted or slow heartbeats. The pacemaker is a sealed box that contains a battery and a tiny computer that monitors your heart rhythms 24 hours a day. Leads are thin, soft, insulated wires about the size of a spaghetti noodle. They carry the electrical impulse from the pacemaker to your heart and relay information about the heart's natural activity back to your pacemaker. A pacemaker is designed to mimic the heart's natural rhythm with two main purposes, pacing and sensing. A pacemaker will send an electrical impulse to the heart when the heart's own rhythm is too slow or is interrupted. This electrical impulse starts a heartbeat. A pacemaker will also sense or monitor the heart's natural electrical activity. When the pacemaker senses a natural heartbeat, it will not deliver a pacing pulse. Your doctor will help determine if you need one or two leads to treat your condition and will program your pacemaker to deliver the most effective therapies for your specific heart condition. The day of the procedure, your care team will help you prepare for surgery. The procedure is conducted in a hospital cardiac catheterization laboratory, or cath lab, a place where minimally invasive surgical interventions are done. Before the surgery, medication may be given to make you sleepy and comfortable. Generally, the procedure is performed under local anesthesia. A small incision, approximately 5 to 10 centimeters long, will be made in your upper chest area, just below your collarbone. One or two leads will be guided through a vein into your heart and the leads will be connected to the pacemaker. The pacemaker settings will be programmed and the device will be tested to ensure it is working properly to meet your medical needs. It will be inserted beneath your skin and the incision in your chest will be closed using either stitches or a special glue. The entire procedure typically takes between one to two hours. Most people go home the same day or the day after the procedure Recovery times will vary by patient, but most patients are back to their normal routine in six to eight weeks. Follow your physician's instructions and allow yourself time to get used to your pacemaker. After your procedure, you will be given a pacemaker identification card. Always carry it with you as it contains important information about the implanted device. Your doctor will set follow-up appointments during which your pacemaker will be checked. Take this opportunity to ask any questions you may have. Remote monitoring provides easy access to information that allows your doctor to manage your device and heart condition. Ask your doctor if remote monitoring is an option for you. There are some precautions for people living with a pacemaker, like keeping a distance of 15 centimeters between your device and your smartphone, or items containing magnets, for example. As long as your doctor has no objections, you can resume all the activities you enjoyed before getting your pacemaker. <laughs>